Hey guys, welcome to episode number 170. Today is Monday, so it's Update Monday. And I know you guys have been begging and pleading and asking for a turtle video. And uh, I'm going to try to deliver here uh, in this video. Uh, it might not be the news you guys uh, have been waiting to hear. I've kind of been putting it off for a while for a reason, uh, and it's because I've kind of been unsure um, as to the future of uh, this 125 gallon tank and uh, the Diamondback Terrapins um, that have inhabited it. So, uh, as you guys know, I've had kind of a rough winter. Um, you know, throughout the past couple of years, I've bought and sold and lost a few Terrapins. Um, and basically, uh, what it's come down to is this is the only turtle um, that I currently have left. And, uh, you know, for me, it's been kind of a sore subject uh, because it was such a rough winter, such a rough move, um, dealing with the drafty apartment and um, the, uh, the pothos ivy, uh, which turned out to be slightly toxic uh, to turtles and uh, potentially, you know, some sort of pneumonia or RI uh, infection within the tank. Um, still not quite sure uh, exactly what happened and uh, why so many of my turtles uh, ultimately didn't make it. Uh, I'm sure it was a combination of multiple factors and uh, it wasn't something I was quite prepared for, uh, but it's definitely something that I've learned from. I hope you guys have learned with me uh, through watching my videos as well. And, uh, you know, ultimately, Bad Turtle is uh, the one turtle uh, that is left. So, um, she is a female. Uh, she is seven inches shell length currently. And, um, you know, when she's full grown, uh, she would basically be the only turtle that would fit in a tank this size, uh, which is fine. So, um, I have debated uh, keeping her, uh, I have debated selling her, and I have debated uh, giving her away. And um, the one reason I would keep her is because of her aggressive tendencies. Uh, she was a biter. Uh, she didn't bite tails, she bit feet. Uh, and that might have led to some infections. Uh, I shot a video of, uh, you know, dealing with uh, some infections and some bites and some wounds. Um, you know, she's the dominant turtle and she was the dominant turtle in this tank and I did try separating her, I did try housing her separately, uh, housing the other turtle separately and, and basically what it came down to at the end of the day is, uh, you know, whatever the smallest turtle in the tank was is the one she decided to pick on. And that just continued um, until Basically, she was the only healthy turtle left, and um, you know there were other reasons um, aside um, that kind of resulted in in some of the uh, the casualties that I had. She wasn't the the main cause of, of any of those, uh, but she might have contributed uh, if she scared one of the turtles out uh, for the night onto the uh, the land portion uh, of this habitat and I just didn't see it because I was asleep, uh, that could have caused, you know, a case of pneumonia. Uh, so, indirectly, uh, some of, some of uh, you know, her aggressiveness could have led to, uh, to their deaths, but um, not directly. But anyways, um, the reason I've put it off for so long, the reason I haven't been focusing on the turtles for so long is because, you know, it's, it's kind of embarrassing, I'm, I'm kind of ashamed. Uh, that this is the only one left and that I have had such a rough time uh, you know after doing so much research and preparing uh, so hard for so long uh, to kind of have failed is uh, you know it, it's not something that you hope for uh, it's not something that you want to see but it, it's kind of what's happened uh, in this case and um, you know I would be perfectly happy to keep uh, Bad Turtle here uh, for a very long time. Uh, obviously this habitat is very well suited for one female uh, adult terrapin, um, but uh, I've kept the option open 
um, to sell and to uh, to rehome. Uh, I ultimately decided not to sell because I do know that she does have aggressive tendencies. Uh, she's perfectly healthy and would make a great specimen um, for anyone else uh, who has terrapins, but I wouldn't feel good knowing that uh, I've sold a turtle that has aggressive tendencies. Uh, obviously, when you place that turtle in a new tank uh, with new tank mates, uh, anything can change. And, um, you know, so that could happen as well. But uh, I, just, I just wouldn't feel right uh, selling her and uh, knowing that she might cause harm to, uh, to other turtles. So that's kind of off the table. And um, the one option that I think uh, I'm going to explore here this weekend is uh, rehoming. And um, if you if you guys have watched my uh, stock tank video, uh, I do have a turtle friend in the area, uh, Check Me Twenty One. He's a member of Turtle Forum, and I have visited uh, his setup, and uh, it's quite impressive. It's the three hundred gallon stock tank in the basement. He has several uh, terrapins in there right now. He has two males, and they seem to be getting along very well. Uh, both of them are slightly aggressive, but not to one another. And uh, they're about six inches in shell length, and she is seven inches. So uh, on Saturday, I will be bringing Bad Turtle over uh, for a little bit of a play date. And uh, if they get along, uh, I'll probably be rehoming her. If they don't get along, uh, I'll probably be taking her back. And um, you know, I'm not willing to uh, to ship her at this point. I don't think. Um, so it's kind of a 50-50, kind of up in the air, uh, whether or not she will be rehomed or not. Uh, but that's kind of what I've decided for right now. Um, so that might be, you know, bad news uh, for some of you who follow me for turtles, uh, and you know. I would agree that it's kind of a bummer, but all in all, I think it's the right decision for me right now. And uh, as for the future, um, I'm not done with turtles. Um, I think, you know, in the coming years, maybe in a year or two, uh, I will revisit turtles. Maybe when I have a, a house and a more permanent uh, enclosure. Uh, I do have the 300 gallon stock tank and I do have the 150 gallon stock tank which are perfect habitats for uh, large groups of turtles, you know, like a breeding group. And uh, I think when I have a more suitable habitat, you know, a space that's insulated um, which won't, you know, vary in temperature, has a nice nesting box, has plenty of hiding places, basically isn't a glass coffin right um, has plenty of you know line of sight barriers um, so smaller turtles can get away and hide uh, you know all in all you know more surface area to uh, to explore and swim uh, when I have something like that set up uh, that's the time that I think I will revisit uh, turtles and uh, as much as I love diamondback terrapins I do think they are an exceptionally beautiful turtle. Uh, I think this might be the end uh, of the Diamondback Terrapins, uh, for me at least. Um, you now they've just proven to be a, a little too large uh, and in my case uh, a little too aggressive uh, for my liking and uh, I might back up a step and um, take a look at smaller turtles. Uh, turtles that uh, tend to be a little bit more community friendly and uh, one turtle I am looking at is uh, the map turtle family. Uh, I'm not quite sure which map turtle. Uh, if you guys know a lot about map turtles and have a suggestion definitely let me know. Uh, I'm thinking less of like the Mississippi map side of the family and uh, maybe more towards um, the Texas map or the Kegels. Um, not quite sure. Obviously there are a lot of different um, varieties to kind of pick and choose from. Some are uh, endangered and protected and um, you know no one uh, is selling them or breeding them. Uh, others are 
super readily available and uh, go for super cheap, uh, but might get just about as big uh, and maybe as aggressive as, uh, as these guys here. So uh, I'll definitely be doing my research before uh, I make any purchases and it won't be uh, for a little while, but I guess the good news is uh, I won't be slowing down on my projects. Uh, now, as you can see, this 125 gallon tank is a little beat up. Uh, I have done multiple patch jobs, as you can see here. Uh, there's some damage, uh, as you can see towards the back there, along some of those seams. There's more damage. Um, obviously, all of the gravel has been taken out. All of the plant life has been taken out, and uh, this tank is kind of um, beat up. Uh, it's 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 rough. After two years, it, it kind of looks uh, how I feel <laughs> with uh, with this uh, this project. And um, you know, I, I think the the future of this tank is probably um, to tear it down ultimately. And um, that's basically because uh, I do feel that the stock tank type enclosure is much, much better long term uh, for an animal like a turtle. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty much done uh, keeping turtles in uh, glass tanks. And uh, the only um, turtles that I would consider in, uh, in a glass tank, in an aquarium, is, uh, is a juvenile or uh, a hatchling turtle. And uh, obviously as those grow a little bit and uh, get better at swimming, they would probably go straight into a stock tank because ultimately that gives them the most surface area and uh, you know the most suitable uh, habitat, um, you know, length, width, and height wise. Um, you know, it's just, it's just bet much, much better uh, for a turtle. So, Anyways guys, that's kind of what's going on. Um, once the uh, fish room is under control, uh, I will be taking a look at starting up some turtle projects as they relate to the 300 gallon stock tank. Uh, but just keep in mind that nothing will be going in it uh, until it has a permanent resting place um, in a house, in a basement. Uh, it won't be set up here. Uh, it will be a future project that I will be working on um, in the short term, you know, in order to set up um, in the long term. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, stay tuned. I'll be bringing the camera and uh, we'll take a look at the play date here on uh, Saturday between the turtles. See if they get along or not. And uh, that will ultimately decide the, uh, the future of uh, Bad Turtle. So... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know it might not be the news you were looking for, but uh, I hope you agree that it's the right decision in my case, uh, in my circumstances. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, the best thing you can do is uh, the best thing for the animals. And uh, I feel like at this point, uh, that's the best thing for this turtle, uh, if everyone gets along, uh, is to rehome it. So. Uh, I will be starting fresh and starting over and starting again um, in the future, um, but for right now, uh, this might be the end of a two-year era here uh, with this 125-gallon tank, but we won't know for sure until Saturday, so definitely stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.